Welcome back, Virgo. We are going to be doing a reading for August 7th through the 13th. Remember, tarot is a game. All material is solely formed for entertainment purposes only. With that, let us begin. What do we have for the Virgo Collective? August 7th through the 13th. Hope everybody is doing well. Guess we can all balance each other out, huh? It's been a pretty crazy time between July 31st and August 6th. I hope you checked out that past reading. If you're new here, remember everything happens for a reason. So subscribe so you can keep up. And all those that already have subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. But yeah, I hope you checked out that past reading uh, for July 31st through August 6th. Now, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Wow, what is going on? So we're balancing out some heartbreak, but at least you have the truth here. Now, perhaps, <laughs> Virgo, things can be seeming a little bit of organized chaos here. Now, this lightning in the window here, this contradictory energy that I was talking about. I feel a lot of heat lightning. But that's an Aquarius energy coming in. Now, Virgo, as you see those little lamps there on either side, perhaps it might be a good time to reschedule any appointments um, at this time. Maybe things uh, might not go as planned. But use your inner compass as your guide and pay close attention to just the details and everything that is going on around you because as you can see there is somewhat of a challenge going on here with that three of swords energy now i'm seeing a veil almost a veil on your emotions a veil a v e i a l a veil like a wedding veil or even um putting a veil over your eyes to not uh, reveal such negative feelings. I'm seeing a meditation really could serve you at this time. And we are going to pull some uh, chakra cards to see what we can do to free up some of the energy. Major Arcana, the Hermit, comes out here. Now, the Three of Swords presently... We know September is right around the corner. Uh, stay tuned for our Lionsgate portal reading we're going to have on August uh, 6th, 4th, 7th <laughs> for our 8-8 reading. Um, but there, there's an analytical approach here to a situation. And what I'm seeing, what is this? really seeing uh, dream catchers and the dream states. Now we did have that super moon as Aquarius's full moon T-square with Jupiter and Taurus. We got that two of pentacles, three of swords and the hermit. There's an opportunity that man, there's a lucky break. Let's look at it like that. A quick decision and you're out of there you're doing what you have to do so you're gonna come to terms balance everything all out maybe you left the window open and the papers went flying everywhere but you still got stuff to do you need to let that internal compass be your guide get you where you have to go so I'm seeing somewhat maybe even a past mistake or the past here and I do see you there luckily having what you need to do to pretty much go forward with any idea of a visionary of sorts so there's going to be feelings of defeat here and there, the Three of Swords, I see that. So once you're balancing out the energy to live better, it might actually give you that boost of confidence that you're looking for and help you venture on out. 
because I mean, if you sit there and you overthink it and you overthink it, you're not going to accomplish anything, correct? So instead of dreaming about it, be about it. Do what you got to do, Virgo. It's inside of you right now. So uh, whatever heartbreak, whatever energy, especially anything from the past, and you feel like it's haunting you with that veil on into the ether, you do have it in you to get it, to do what you got to do get up and out of this situation luckily that Uranus, Uranus energy is helping out there to help you overcome any obstacles now the two of wands as well Aries energy here again with an ether with a Uranus energy there so I can see that Mars trining energy the same time it's going to form a, a loose grand trine in earth signs so, and as you see, we do have that Hermit and that Two of Wands, but that's not going to be until August 14th through the 20th. So that reading isn't even here yet, but there's something gearing up into you having to overcome this obstacle and gear up to do it now as you push forward. You need this expansion more than ever. And that Two of Pentacles does say that, you know, like if you have glass a, a wine a sh champagne glass in one hand and you've got a mardi gras plastic cup in another and and you got a whole lot going on if you drop this one over here i mean the the cup probably isn't going to shatter but if you pay attention and you accidentally or you're not paying attention and this one drops you just it might cause you know oh, glass is hard to clean up you know what i mean and <clears throat> So, it's going to be a little bit different for every one of you. We're seven minutes in. Please take this time to subscribe. Stay tuned to the end. Now we have the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. What romance. So, I'm looking right now at... Um, Time to pretty much celebrate yourself. There's romance. Maybe you've been stuck in one position, pretty much internalizing things, almost like a statue. But there is going to be that envy to seek romance. That confidence might just turn an energy completely positive for the weekend, which is going to allow you to be able to look up a little bit more, maybe even get in touch with uh, perhaps so said one that you really do have a wonderful time with. Now, or catching up, just good vibes, good weekends, romance. Oh, nine of wands, five of cups. Through the just of it, through it all, there's still very much an attachment here. Aquarius energy, that T-square, the feelings of despair, feeling crazy even, okay, you see the T here, under that full moon, I know she does, now, Aries, that Knight of Wands, level-headed energy here, all of it is for a reason. I need you to check back for that Lionsgate portal reading on August 7th. I'm just, let's go ahead and see what we can do. What can Virgo be doing to bring in some of that money? All right, we have beauty here. Embrace your unique style. Some of you have some unique styles. Yes, you do, and you need to own that. Let the world see who you really are. We have real estate. Build a solid foundation prior to building several stories above it. There's something here about planning and becoming a teacher at something or a motivator. Paying attention to detail like we were talking about earlier. Also, a planner might help you do that. Great time to take a financial inventory and see what needs changing. You've learned much about money and it's time to pretty much put that into practice. Okay, if you haven't done that, basically take your own advice, more or less. Careers in event planning, project management, professional organizer could be for you. I mean, there's plenty of situations where there's organized chaos everywhere, and people have to have a routine. 
And believe it or not, you might know, know where each and everything is, even though it might appear to be chaotic to others. Now, this might be a good time to tackle any chores within the home front at this time. I'm seeing a little bit of Leo energy. Maybe there's going to be that romantic spark as well. And for those that are single, might just be, you know, lighting the candles, the incense around the home, putting on a good movie, cooking yourself a good dinner. Opportune time to do that. Now, we do have Explorer and Rescuer here. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. You may need to go wondering and trust the unknown. And that's where the magic lies. And as I said, Spirit's going to help you overcome that, that obstacle here. And that, that internal compass, let that be your light as well as celebrating that inner light here as well. So tap into your own feelings of self-worth as well is very much highlighted. I really love how the tarot really goes along with astrology. It's so just precise. And when you, when they both come together, you can understand how um, this is a divination tool and how it starts to work to better your life. Like I said earlier, remember tarot is a game and it's all for entertainment purposes only. I do have disclaimers in my description. If you feel that there's anything extra. <clears throat> so there are a few healing stones that can be used to open, balance, and heal the root chakra. Right? That foundation itself is super, super important. Red carnelian is historically worn for strength and courage. Black tourmaline. Oh, I love black tourmaline. Is used for spiritual grounding. Finally, obsidian which is a stone of protection all of these stones can be used for cleansing and balancing the root chakra for a crown chakra affirmation you are going to say i am open to the abundance and the greatness the universe offers number 93 which of course There's going to be a uh, time for celebration coming in. So transformation and celebration. Go ahead and write that down. I really like that. <laughs> um, Virgo. Transfer. I had a friend tell me, you can be writing down your titles, you know, and I... I, I was all messed up. I was so embarrassed in my first few videos because I I just, you know, I'm kind of new at the, the title. I think I've been at this for a few years. And uh, so instead of coming back after I do all my readings, trying to remember what everything is about, I'm able to like, you know, be more precise and come back and see what everything is about, which has been really helpful planning what I need to do. It, and it's the same thing for you as well, Virgo. Just sometimes the smallest things can add up to slow down your day or slow down progress. And all these little obstacles, Spirit's going to help guide you through that, you know, through obstacles. And then, of course, it's a wonderful time for romance. Apparently, Aquarius energy is here as well as Aries energy, Mercury energy. What, any other kind of uh, uh, Jupiter energy, that solar revolution, 4, 4, and 49. All right, which of course equals a 4, 4, 4, 4. All right, so we are working on our foundations at this time. Pretty much catching up with loved ones, socializing, dating, understanding that uh, through it all, it is all about balance. And, and we'll be able to work towards expansion. What a wonderful time. Right. Stay away from anyone that has any negative vibes at this time. I see a real daydreamy energy. So don't just dream about it. Be about it. Like I had said, explorer energy, rescuer. If 
some of you need to get out and look at the stars here it might be a a wonderful time to do that maybe laugh with those you know just just in time you know to be able to get that uh self-confidence back to just enjoy you know All right don't be afraid drop me a comment <laughs> just love to hear what's going on in your life thank you so much for joining me give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel like i said everything happens for a reason help this channel grow until next time